Hi, this is Bob at Avion. Today we're going to do a demonstration of our HSK 28 extruder. Uh, what I've got here that we're welding today is a snow sled that has a crack in it. And just before I get started on that, I'm going to turn this on, get it set to the right temperature. I know that uh, the sled here is uh, HDPE, so I've got my likewise HDPE rod that I'm ready with. Um, we need to warm up the extruder and for HDPE the setting is going to be 220C or 430 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to turn it on. It's going to be a little loud. We're going to set it both the barrel. There's two settings on here, two timers. We're going to set the barrel to the right temperature and we're going to set the preheater to the right temperature. Look at the temperature readings. We've got a setting here. This is our 220 that I mentioned. That's 220C. So it's heating up right now. This one's only at 16, so I'm going to set it. Get it up there. One's the barrel, one's the preheater. And at this point, I want them both to be equal. Sometimes you may want the preheater to be higher or lower, depending on what you're doing. So now it's set to 220 on both and we're going to let it heat up. Um, one thing I want to mention, uh, this unit will come with a standard square block. This is a Teflon block, or what we call a tip or a shoe. Um, it can be machined so that it guides the flow of the, of the plastic. This one, for example, is what we call our V uh, machined groove. So if I had a V groove on a butt weld, maybe a thicker piece of plastic, and I put a chamfer in it, and I wanted this little piece to go into that and guide the flow of the plastic through that. That's, that's what a machined block would look like. So, uh, if you look at our temperature readings, we're now up to temperature. And uh, I'm going to start feeding my rod in. And then we'll take it over and start the weld. Purging out the previous material, as you can see, that's clear material there. Now, when I do this weld, this is my preheater. So I'm going to lead the weld with the preheater so that I'm heating the base material before it meets the other material. Um, this is where the stand is very handy. You've got a place for this to sit and cool down, and then we can put it away. So, again, HSK28, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, give us a call at Avion or go to avion.com. Thank you.